top of the happy Monday morning to you, YouTube family. I hope everybody had a restful and peaceful weekend and had an opportunity to get prepared for a new week. Whew. I've already ran to town this morning. I went and grabbed some dirt for this little raised bed that we're going to do in here. I didn't grab much, but you can get a 40-pound sack down here at the feed store for like $1.60, so I grabbed a little bit of dirt. And... I've got that to work on today. I may work on this arbor a little bit more today. I don't know. I know I gotta get the garden rolling and going. Mom and I yesterday discussed pretty hard about whether or not to try to spend the extra money on lumber right now and try to start the house or keep piddling on other things. And at the moment, we decided to keep piddling on other things. We just can't pay double. We just cannot talk ourselves into doing it. So we're just gonna sit and wait and hope the market comes down and explodes at some point as opposed to continuing to go up. I know OSB locally for us has went up to uh, near $35 a sheet now. And two by fours are like eight bucks or something, eight or nine bucks for a two by four, eight foot long. And it's just, no, we can't do it. So we talked about a few other small projects around here. We talked about doing a small garden shed here, just a place to store the tiller and some rakes and shovels and stuff like that, just to get them out of the weather. Uh, we talked about adding a lean-to to the back of our shed at the other end of the property down here for lawnmowers and stuff like that, just to get it out of the weather and try to help get some of these things picked up that are sitting around that are driving us nuts because there's just nowhere to put them. There's not a home for them currently. So we talked about doing a, a few small projects like that. I got notification on all the rabbit stuff shipping. So that should be here Wednesday. So hopefully by the end of the week, I can get to working on their watering system and get that in place. Um, be tidied up on that. I got a video this morning of Bee's granddaughter. I'll show you a little short clip right here. She's going to be a little fuzzball. She's going to be a mess. I think we've got it narrowed down to three names right now, and it is between Eve, Eden, and Leah. And, well, Mama has another idea, but that's the three that I'm down to. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Sometimes you got to wait and see what their personality is going to be like, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's going to fall in that realm there of those three, and Mom's got one more in her mind, Princess Leia or, or something, I don't know. Pfft. Who needs her to name anything? But I'm going to work on this garden again today and tomorrow. we got more thunderstorms coming in, I believe, on Wednesday. And, yeah, that's it. Sounds to me like I'm just going to be moving a bunch of rocks around. So let's get after it. Well now, some of my flower planting is done for the day. Here's a mix of what we ended up along this front row of the garden. I've got some Forever Susan lilies. Stargazer lilies. Once in a lifetime, day lily. Blackberries and cream. Day lily. Some red Dutch lily. Some Nettie's pride lily. And I believe that was all the lilies. And then on the ends, 
and closest to the gate on uh, opposing ends here. We've got some pink. I didn't water these up, so some pink hollyhocks and some yellow hollyhocks. And I've got everything somewhat balanced, evened out, spaced. So this should make a very interesting array of flowers going across the front of the garden here. Our plans eventually do include about another 40 foot worth of garden that direction. This was gonna be big enough for this year with all the rocks and everything I gotta deal with. So I didn't wanna whew, mess with trying to do all of it. But eventually the plan here will be nearly about 100 by 100 overall once it's all said and done. But that'll be next year, the year after. We won't worry about that right now. But for now, I just planted on the front. That's why I'm trying to stay away from the side, doing anything there, knowing that it's going to get extended and go that way. couple of strawberry plants that mama drug up and we're gonna see if we can keep these poor little old guys alive and let them spread around here in this little old bed right here. I also snuck over here and got my t-post in clay for the grapevines. There's two in the ground there now and the third one is the one that's in the house. I need to get it out here and get it planted. It's just nearly touching the ceiling in the house now. All the raspberries we planted the other day are coming along nicely. Aren't they, Miss B? I've got one of my elderberries down here sprang into life already. He's enjoying a little drink, Miss B. So handy having that fresh water bowl for her right there. But that's all I've got for today, guys. And uh, I'm going to fire this grill up and see if I can grill up something nice for dinner and we'll get back after it again tomorrow so we'll catch you guys on the next one